Namaste, my friend. Happy Jack here. Celebrate your failures. I mean that because I know it can be so easy to criticize ourselves or to judge ourselves or be hard on ourselves. However, it's so important. Consider that your failures, your setbacks, when, when life was not going as you expected, as you had hoped, it was actually a gift and life was happening for you, not to you. You know, I remember, so I've been teaching yoga about 10 years now, traveling the world, doing my thing. I remember the first few years, I, I taught for a few years without a certification. So my first power yoga certification that I was working on, I, I failed the, the certification teaching process so many times. I was like, man, am I just not good? Am I not cut out for this? But I knew, I knew I was cut out for it. I knew that this was my calling. And so I was showing up and I was bringing up and I was being myself, but it wasn't in, it wasn't fitting into the box of where I was doing my certification. Eventually I got it, of course. However, <clears throat> then I remember when I did a, a more advanced level training over in India. So this was first one was power yoga here in North America. Then all of a sudden I'm in India doing an advanced level, learning, like just loving it, eating up the wisdom. And again, when I went to do my practice teaching curriculum, getting the feedback, failed, boom. And it's like, what's going on? The good thing is that I was showing up as myself. I was showing up, I wasn't holding back. I was bringing the joy, the fun, the high vibes. I was bringing myself, I wasn't exactly delivering what their expectations were of that particular exam, of that test. And so, you know, I had some trouble getting past. Eventually I did pass. But I'll tell you, the gift in it was that we realized, you know, here it's like, whoa, there is an opportunity to create a new style of yoga, really our own unique style. And that's, you know, for you, if you're a yoga teacher, it is about creating your style, finding your voice. And really, Happy Jack Yoga wouldn't exist if I didn't fail those tests, fail those certifications, and realize this isn't exactly who I am. I'm totally inspired and like so much respect and gratitude for those certifications, for all of the certifications. However, they, they, I take little bits. I like this, I like that. You know, be inspired, bring in some of our own unique thing. And that is how we created Happy Jack Yoga, how we've created Happy Jack Yoga University, how we've created our hero's journey sequence and so much of our framework. So please remember, celebrate your failures really like celebrate them and not even i wouldn't even use that word failure it's like it's it's a learning it's really supporting you in becoming that next version of yourself my invitation take a look at your set at your life right now especially if you have some stuff from your past if you have some experiences some circumstances, some things that happened, and you've got a meaning that you're giving it that's not empowering and it's not serving you and you're still focused on it, even though it's in the past, and see if you can shift that and give it a different perspective. Give it the perspective of, whoa, whatever that was that happened that made you who you are. Yeah, you had that divorce. Yeah, you had that bankruptcy. Yeah, you had that challenge. Yeah, you whatever it is. Yeah, you lost your job. You know, yeah, what you know, I know and, and probably a lot worse things have happened to me as well. Can they consider I love what Tony Robbins says. When your worst day becomes your best day, your whole life changes. And so consider those failures, those those things that didn't go as planned can be the greatest gifts of your life. You are a gift, my friend. I feel honored to be connected with you here right now. And my invitation is to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate all of your failures. And I know if, if right now if this sounds like crazy talk to you, I'll tell you, I give it up to the practice of meditation and yoga and all of the lifestyle stuff that we teach here at Happy Jack Yoga. So 
you know, do whatever you've got to do to find the practices, to find the people, to find the lifestyle that serves you. I'm not saying everybody's got to be a yogi or a yoga teacher, but find what works for you. Find what lifts you up that can help you shift your perspective so you can start celebrating, celebrating your failures. Enjoy. Happy celebrating, my friend. Namaste. Namaste, my friend. Happy Jack here. I trust you enjoyed this video. Have you ever considered getting certified as a yoga teacher? I've created a free training video that explains the five most important factors when you're choosing a yoga school to study with. Now, if you're already a yoga teacher or you're curious about becoming one, you're going to love this. To get access to the free training, just click the link in the description below. Namaste.